I am Dr. Kadar Uzi Neke, Consultant Thoracic Surgical Oncologist at Apollo Proton Cancer Center, Chennai. Today, we would like to talk about the myths and facts about the lung cancer. Introduction of lung cancer. Uh, lung cancer is the commonest cancer in the worldwide as well as in India. It's, it's quite common in males when compared to the females and it's quite common in uh, uh, people who smoke and who are polluted to the air. Only smokers develop lung cancer? No, it is not like that. People also get lung cancer in a non-smoker population. For example, people who have a history of uh, passive smoking, in especially in Northeast India where people have a, a passive smoking, they are also prone for getting lung cancer. And some of the lung cancers can run in the families and very rarely it can have a genetical background. There is no way to reduce the risk of lung cancer. Yes. You can't reduce the risk for lung cancer. We can only try to detect them early and treat them early. Only older adults develop lung cancer. No, it's not like that. Even the young ones can get lung, can get lung cancer who has got a uh, genetically inherited mutations which causes lung cancer and which is quite rare. Living in a polluted city is much more worse risk than the smoking which can cause lung cancer. Not like that. Both go synonymous, synonymously actually. The, actually the smoking has got a much more risk factor than the air pollution in getting the lung cancers because the smoking has got the uh, all the toxic contents which acts directly on our respiratory organs whereas air pollution goes inside the nose and then acts on it. So that is the difference where the smokers are more prone for getting lung cancer when compared to those people who are polluted with the uh, bad air. Suppose I have uh, people who have smoked uh, for more than uh, 15 years and they have uh, stopped smoking today and from now and if you are getting screened every year for the next 15 years and if they don't get a lung cancer then there is a chance of having lung cancer is very very less. What I am trying to tell you is if, I, if the people smoke for more than 15 years daily 15 to 20 cigarettes per day they are at risk for lung cancer for next 15 years even they stop smoking. If you have a lung cancer, if you may continue to smoke. It is a myth actually because you are again at the risk of getting a one more lung cancer in the other part of the lung. So that you have to understand. So smoking has got a detrimental effect on the lung and it will definitely cause the lung cancer. So people who have been diagnosed with lung cancer should absolutely quit smoking. They should never continue smoking. Lung cancer surgery makes the cancer spread. It's actually a myth actually. It's a misconception to the public that lung cancer surgery increases the risk for or spreading of lung cancer. It is actually a, a false statement. One of the most potential curative of treatment is for the lung cancer is the predominantly is the surgery. Surgery can only give them the 100% cure rate for early lung cancers and locally advanced cancers. Breathing in talcum powder increases the risk for lung cancer only to a uh, certain extent of patients, not for all the patients. For example, if the patient is quite uh, uh, allergic to the talc powder or if their airway is quite hyperreactive to that, then because of the chronic irritation, they, there is a very less risk for lung cancer, but it is not absolutely that every patient can get it. Lung cancer is always terminal. It is a myth actually. Lung, lung cancer is not always terminal. Only in stage 4 lung cancer patients, it, it is terminal only to a certain extent. Not all terminal lung cancer patients uh, is really terminal. There is a still in this era where the stage 4, the terminal in lung cancer patients can still be having a good quality of life, pro prolonging the survival and better quality of life. Smoking is the only risk factor lung cancer. It is a myth actually. Smoking is not the only risk factor. There are very, uh, various several risk factors as I told mentally. Air pollution is one. Working in industrial uh, areas like chemical factory, aniline factory, dye factory, petrochemical factories, radon factories, etc. All increases the risk for lung cancer. And uh, very rarely chronic infection like tuberculosis and any fungal infections which has been persistent for more than 20 to 25 years has got a slightest risk factor for. So to, today we spoke about the myths and the facts about the lung cancer. Hope it is uh, really helpful for the general public to know about this uh, dreaded lung cancer disease. Stay healthy, stay safe and stay informed. And if you have any queries regarding the lung cancer, please consult your local doctor.